cheers to the last night together. I love you so much. I love you too. That's so sad. <laughs> we will see each other so very soon. I appreciate everything you've done for me. I can't wait to see you again. Don't leave me by. <laughs> Please. Here. <laughs> We're both crying, so yeah, yeah. we're a mess. Yeah, we're just gonna have the third drink and hopefully not quite much later. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to the moving vlog. It's weird to say that because like the place is still like fully not ready for the move. That I, it just feels weird saying that. Like I don't feel like I'm leaving. But if you're new here, hi, I'm Jill. Welcome to my life. I feel like it's a great time to introduce myself. I'm 22. I am currently living in Florida. I've been here for six months and now I am moving to Rhode Island. Probably weren't expecting that. Um, I am originally from Rhode Island and I got a job there working there for the summer for like six months. So I'm moving to Newport, Rhode Island and we broke our lease and we are ending the Florida chapter in this vlog. I cannot believe that. A couple things to say to you all. Um, I haven't even had coffee yet, hold on. That's good. I have a couple things to say and a few things to go over before we get started here. Um, a few updates because I haven't told you guys. Um, I was waiting until this vlog to give you the full like rundown. We broke the lease on this apartment as you guys know and I was in limbo trying to decide if we were living in staff housing if we go up there because our job provides housing for people who work seasonally. Um, you have to pay for it. It's like a lease. Um, but usually they like own a house or an apartment or something and then they'll like rent it out to you or get our own place and for so long i was like so set on getting my own place like couldn't imagine not having it i've had my own place here with just the way i guess the whole summer is gonna go it just for saving money it's just better to live in staff housing and we're gonna be there seasonally. There's no more places to rent for six months because some places do like short-term leases, but because it's so late in the like time before we are supposed to be there and it's so close to summer, there's no short-term leases available. That's in like such high demand because Rhode Island is such like a touristy state because nobody goes to Rhode Island in the winter. All the snowbirds have homes up there. Like. That's when people go and live there for the summer. Like, how much life in the winter there? Um, I just know that because I'm from Rhode Island. So, same thing in Westerly where I'm from. It's the same thing. So, I got to pack up the apartment today. Half the closet is empty because my boyfriend already packed his side. And I am so behind. I got to pack the kitchen, my clothes, which is so much. What I'm doing with the furniture. So, we're in the middle of trying to sell everything right now. We leave on Monday. It is Thursday. But we have to work doubles Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We... Took the past couple days off just to get all our details in order. Um, we aren't driving, we're taking a train. We're taking the Amtrak auto train most of the way, putting our car on the train, and then um, that will land us in like the DC area. We're gonna spend a few nights in that area somewhere, and then we're gonna go right to Rhode Island. That's like a seven hour drive from there, or New York. We haven't decided yet, everything is in the air. Someone is coming to pick up the couch in about two, three hours. Still are trying to sell the bed. Bar stools we're taking. I don't know what it's gonna be like up there. Like I don't know if we're gonna have like an island like this up there. We are gonna be living with another couple. Um, they are our friends, so that's usually how staff housing goes. You have to live with people. Um, we have a couple friend that is actually going to work there too. It's very unplanned. I knew if we were gonna live in staff housing, we'd be living with them. And like, as I just don't like living with people in general. It's not about anybody personally. I explained this a few vlogs ago. It's not about anybody. It's literally just like, I don't like living with people, but you have to live with anyone. I'm glad it's them because you know, it's just, they're not strangers. I can communicate with them. Like they've lived in staff housing before so many times, just like we have. There's a just an understanding there. So we're gonna start with moving. I gotta start packing. Maybe I'll give you a before and after of everything and then we'll go from there. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I've been talking for so long, so I'm gonna shut up. Welcome to this next chapter in my life. I believe I'm moving back to like where I'm from. I'm not from Newport, but like I'm 40 minutes away from there. Rhode Island's so small. I can't believe we're leaving Florida. It's so bittersweet. <sighs> yeah, all right. 
let's let's get to it okay this is like my moving vlog but this is my boyfriend's in the bathroom like showering or something i don't know we have the laundry room here i'm in the middle of doing like more loads of laundry uh, we have my christmas tree the air mattress our suitcases we got a lot of shit to fit in two cars and then this is obviously what the space looks like we have these bins we're gonna use for kitchen stuff um, the pantry is looking pretty good um it looks pretty full but there's really not much. It's just like some vitamins, some boxes of like pasta. The junk drawer. This, I'm gonna have to just like figure out. I had gotten these little like bins off of Amazon. I'll link them down below for organizing. But we have all the cups in here, bowls. We have to wrap in bubble wrap. At some point today, no, I think I'm gonna do this Monday. We have to go to UPS to drop off our Wi-Fi little thing. So I'm just gonna send off my Nespresso pods. There isn't much in here. This is just like our little bar area. Down here is like all our containers and our cutting boards silverware drawer this is very easy to pack fridge is actually looking pretty good it, we just have to run through some things but everything is pretty good We're, thankfully my boyfriend loves his like sauces and stuff so he's run through almost all of this which is great and then down here is just the bags i forgot to show you this but it's just grocery bags oh these are what we're going to use to pack i got these like packing bags off amazon they're like this heavy duty plastic and they fit so much so i'm either going to put clothes in here or hangers or towels blankets anything i could think we i'm so sad to see this go so just so nice and comfortable I'm so sad to see it go. TV is coming with us. And then the bedroom. Probably the most put together space of it all. This has become a mess. As soon as I get up north, I'm probably going to be changing out the nightstands because I have some at my mother's house that I want to use. Ed, we have to sell this still. I better be out of here soon just because I'm so sad to see it go. This bed has been so comfortable. Um, I love this thing. It's from City Furniture. We got it in Florida, but they have an online like website. It's a beautiful bed, but we can't take it with us. And then the closet. My closet is an actual shit show right now. All my shoes are in this little shoe organizer. I'm just going to keep in there. Obviously, I got to go through all the clothes and then my boyfriend's stuff. And that's it. His side is like empty. My side is packed full. We're in staff housing for six months and they already provide furniture. It's never as nice as <laughs> your own furniture, but it, it's... Honestly, it's more expensive to like rent some kind of like storage unit or like take it with us for like a thousand plus dollars and then we have to figure out our cars and we don't even know like what we're doing after Rhode Island. With living like and working seasonally, everything's always all over the place. I work in hospitality and so does my boyfriend and a lot of our friends. We all work seasonally. That is why we're getting rid of everything. We still have to sell the bed, but other than that, should be good to go. We'll start with the kitchen. Here we go. Five after ten. See how fast we can do this. I bet we can get this all done today. Alright, I guess I'll start here. Alright, this is how far we've got so far. Some plates, some bowls, a lot of cups, or like mugs, and then I still have to do all these. And this is where we are with the cabinet, so not bad. I feel like we're like halfway with this, <laughs> which isn't a lot, but it's something. I still have to do like these. These I'm keeping for the next like day or two in case we need them to like eat off of <laughs> at all, because I don't want to like pack too soon and then we need dishes uh, couch people are on their way to pick up the couch so we're just quickly like vacuuming just a little just to make sure it's good and then we just sprayed it down with like a fabric 
spray just to you know enhance it a little bit but it's pretty much good to go this couch is in great condition i'm packing all the towels and blankets in one of these like massive bags do you think our comforters would fit in here too that would be nice a lot happening. I've been bouncing all over because I ran out of bubble wrap. Um, but we just ordered bagels and the delivery, not the delivery, the couch person is going to be here soon. Uh, but let me show you what I got. We just found this place yesterday. We also ordered these yesterday. Asiago cheese bagel with cream cheese. It was so good. It's called Brooklyn Water Bagel. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Sausage, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. I'm so ready to eat this. Oh wow. Yeah, that's good. I think we were getting hungry. Me and you. Me. I was getting hungry. It's so hard to find good bagels like anywhere other than like up north. Couch people are gonna be here soon. We're making really good progress. I've done like half the kitchen. Oh, that's the coach. Very nice. There she goes. Ugh. Just like that, we're back to this empty space. Ugh. That is so sad. I love that couch so much. It was so comfortable. All right, I'm in my car. Before you know it, this thing's gonna be packed full. I am heading to Target. I ran out of bubble wrap. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna get back and finish the kitchen and then work on the closet. And that's pretty much it. I gotta do the bathroom, but that I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what other space I have left and see where I can like tuck all those things away. I was looking at the floor plan earlier for our apartment up north and it's very confusing because it's kind of like a house. This is how it goes in New England. They have like old houses. This house was built in the 1800s and it says it's a five bedroom house, four bathrooms, and one of those bathrooms is a half bath. And what we were told is there's two sets of couples on the top apartment and like six people at the bottom so like two per room so that means there's three rooms on the bottom and two rooms on top but like is it a house is it an apartment because it says it's like a multi-family home which means it's like set up as an apartment but in the pictures i couldn't tell so i don't know what's going on so i'm like what do i need for that space i guess i'll find out when i get there but also what can i get rid of now like what don't i need for there couldn't tell you because I've never been there. So I'm just gonna pack what I can and that be that. Like that's it. Off to Target we go. Let's hope I don't buy too much stuff. I won't. I don't need stuff. I don't need anything. <laughs> bubble wrap I have this is different from this because this is the one I got last time but the thick roll this is just really thick but I'm still gonna buy it I'm just gonna get all of it because I at this point don't know what I need I'm just gonna grab one more just so I have it you never know coffee All right, bubble wrap has been secured. It's like two of the one that I had this morning. Um, I didn't get anything extra except, I'm so proud of myself, honestly. I got these little Caesar salads for my boyfriend and I for work because we're gonna be working and we won't have food in the house because I haven't, obviously I haven't gone grocery shopping because I'm trying to clean out the fridge, but we pretty much will have like nothing left after so there's that and then just some coffee for work and that is it i can't believe it it's time to go home and we're finishing packing so
well. So I have most of like the dry stuff in here. Anything pretty much unopened, like there's rice in here, croutons, oats, um, like vitamin C, like random shit like that. Food wise in here, I do have like these bottles of like vitamins and greens and stuff. I gotta find a place for them. Same thing with my spices. I gotta find a place for all of this. This is the update. I feel like it just gets worse and worse. Like, I, uh, and I got all of this cleared out and then all of this as well. I just need to pack this up. I need to pack those bottles with the bubble wrap. And then the pots and pans I have to pack. And that's pretty much the kitchen. It just needs like a quick tidy and then it's fine. All right, it's time to move on to my clothes. <laughs> So here's the dilemma. I need to make sure I have clothes packed for our little like overnight stay in like DC or whatever. And I need to make sure everything else is packed in my suitcase. I think most of my clothes will fit in my suitcase. And I'm also gonna donate some stuff. I don't have that much stuff, but it feels like a lot. You know what I mean? Okay, let me organize the bed. And then we'll use the bed as our space to put things on and all that. <laughs> There's just so much stuff. Oh god, I don't know what I'm gonna want to wear, like, but I think that's what I should start with, like DC and what I'm gonna wear there and like go from there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I definitely didn't want these sweatpants that I was wearing today, um, as well as these jeans. That's a start, right? <laughs> Alright, got my big one, got my carry on. Alright. There we go. Okay, I have ideas, all right? Leather pants, jeans, sweater, a cute top, and then I'll put like some basics in here and then we're done. Bring my blazer just in case. Perfect. I don't want this to be too heavy when I'm like on the train either. Taking a brief pause on everything. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go through all the clothes I want to donate because Honestly, I don't wear a lot of my stuff. I don't have that many clothes, but I don't wear a lot of clothes either. And I'm over some of the things I bought. Some stuff has stains on it and I just can't let it go. Even though I don't really have like an attachment to clothes. Just no, like I'm not into this. I used to like wear this and I thought this was so cute and cool. I'm over it. Like, I'm over it. This dress, oh my God, this basic gray, like, I gotta keep it. I was gonna say I'm getting rid of it. I was so obsessed with it, but I'm keeping it. Oh god, I've had some of this for so many years, and I thought was so, I got it from Lulu's forever ago. I thought I was gonna be this sexy thing. I was like 17, 18 when I bought it. I feel like I need to let it go because I've never worn it and I've had it for like seven years now. Oh, fuck, I don't like want to let. It, I'm letting it go. Goodbye. Okay, we're not overthinking it. Like if I haven't worn it. Why do I hold on to it? Oh my god, wanna see new things I just bought? This cute dress from Target. So New England, I'm so excited for it. Okay. You know what I don't wear ever really? My leather jacket. But I wore this for so long when I like first got it. I feel like I need to keep it in case like it comes back in. Maybe I just need a new one, like a more updated style. Oh my god, do you guys remember this? <laughs> this, it's disgusting now. It's like discolored, but it was this white tiny little sweatshirt I got from Aerie and I used to wear it all the time. I had a lot of sentimental moments here, but I think I gotta get rid of it. I don't think, I think, I think it's done. We're doing good. I'm gonna have like no clothes. That's fine. It's better than having clothes I never wear. For example, these pants. Ah, oh, I bought them and they looked so good on me, but I've gained weight and they don't fit anymore. They don't look the same anymore. And I always try to like squeeze my way into these and they're just like uncomfortable. I accidentally shoved my foot through their holes. So the rips are like, just, it's time. It's time. We have to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes I wonder like why I bought stuff in the first place like this. I was like, oh, I'm in my t-shirt era. So all the cool girls have this, but I hate myself in t-shirts. Keeping, 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 keeping. I bought this top and it is so cute. It's one of those that like cross over and ties in the back. I have no boobs, so it always falls down and it just doesn't look good, but I so badly wanna wear it one day. I think it's so cute. I can't, no, it's just not, no, no, I have to be honest. 
not gonna work. Okay. Over it. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gula. I'm never gonna weigh you. And I'm gonna be honest with myself. Even when it's difficult. This top, basic tank. I used to wear it tucked into denim jeans. I wore like the same few tops. Like I rotated through them. I wore a bralette under them. And I wore it like when the bralettes were the thing. It has so much sentimental value. I'm never gonna wear it again though. Maybe I'll keep it because of like the sentimental value. Look at all this. I'm proud of myself. Okay. Now we can just put this in the donation bag and then we're gonna pack my big suitcase. Are you a pizza delivery guy? Ooh, you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a pause and I'm feeling overwhelmed. It doesn't seem like there's like that much time has passed, but it's a lot later now. I had to run an errand earlier. And it is now almost 6 p.m. So, um, I ordered Pizza Hut. I've been craving pizza for so long now. So, I got a pepperoni pizza. I never order pizza. But slay. I love Pizza Hut. I love their crust. And most importantly, why I go to Pizza Hut. I think their breadsticks are better than any other breadstick. Like, hello. And then we're back to packing. I just finished all my clothes. They can fit in a carry-on as well as this large suitcase. It's full in there, full in there, and then I have like the rest of my stuff for the train in here. Can't believe this. I have like a few little things from the laundry I have to put in, but I think I think, I think I think I can fit it all. This is what the closet is looking like. I can't believe it's so empty. We just have like some work clothes left. I just have to tidy this up and it's done guys clothes are done it is time to do the bathroom i have done the closet we did pretty much all the kitchen the rest i think we're gonna finish on monday because we're still gonna have to use some like the cups and the pots and the pans but i got pretty much all of it done for the most part there's not much in here which is good let me get one of the bags actually Honestly, I feel like the best way to pack the bathroom specifically is to put everything in here. Kind of like if it was like a box, like a cardboard box. And keep everything in the baskets. If I can do that, I think I can do that. This is what it's looking like. It's not horrible, but it's not like ideal i have to organize some of my stuff here that's my boyfriend stuff i don't know what he wants to do with all that so i might just keep it there i gotta go through a few things so that's the plan and somehow i'm gonna fit everything in here these are plastic bags i'm gonna like wrap the baskets in plastic bags just in case i don't want anything like falling out and stuff, or like any kind of liquid spilling anything like that we're just gonna get to it i'm kind of tired it's actually getting late now it's 8 56 but at the same time i'm like i may as well just get done so today is thursday friday saturday sunday we're working double so like there's no time to pack this place over the next three days monday we have off and then tuesday we're leaving. Let's get most of it done now so then on Monday it's like not stressful because I don't want to have a stressful move. We've been doing so well in comparison to the last few times we've moved. Like, we have better like organization and just a better system this time and we've planned it out a bit more than we normally do so it's looking better. Contacts. 